my name is Angelica Dominich and I'm a trainer here at Pragmatic Works. If this is your first time visiting our YouTube channel, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date on all the videos that we post. Today I'm going to show you one of the features that was just released with the November 2022 update of Power BI. We now have the ability to create dynamic slicers using field parameters. Now field parameters was released a few months ago, but it did not allow us to use slicers to control fields and other slicers, also known as dynamic slicers. All right, so enough talking about it here. Let's head over to the Power BI desktop to get started. So one thing we want to make sure that we have in place here that we have set up is we have this feature turned on in our preview feature section. So I'm going to select file, click options and settings here, and then options again to open up the preview features within our options section here. So we want to make sure we have field parameters turned on. As you can see, I have mine currently turned on here. So I'm not going to do anything here. I'm just going to close out of this section. All right, so today I'm using the AdventureWorks data set from Microsoft, and I already have a couple of visuals uh, set up here to get us started. I have the uh, sales amount dropped into a table visual and also to our standard bar chart here. But let's go ahead and get started creating that field parameter first. So we're gonna go up to our modeling ribbon here from our uh, parameters field here. We wanna select new parameters and then select fields. Now in creating this new parameter here, I'm just gonna start typing in the fields that I wanna use. And first let's go ahead and add class from our product table. Let's also add in the English product name from our product table. And the last field I want to add is going to be model name from that product table as well. So the other thing you want to do here is make sure that you have the add slicer to this page box checked off so that we have that slicer showing up here. Let's go ahead and select create. All right, so we've got this new slicer created here with our parameter and we could leave this as is, but I wanna go ahead and change this a bit here. So I'm gonna select that format your visual and then in the slicer settings, I'm gonna change the orientation from vertical to horizontal. So we get some nice buttons here and I'm gonna drag these and so they're in one single row here and resize that a bit on our page. All right, now let's create that sub slicer here. And what we're gonna do to create that is very simple. Uh, let's go ahead and select one of our fields. I'll select English product name. And now we are going to copy this visual here. And we are just going to paste that here in our report canvas. And so I'll drag this down here. And I wanna do some rearranging with my visuals here. Uh, let's see how, whoops. Let's go ahead and see if that works for us here. And now I'm going to uh, resize this and make this take up a little bit more space here because what we're going to do next, you're going to see why we needed to resize this. So from this sub slicer that we're gonna use here, over in your visualizations pane in that field section, go ahead and hit that drop down arrow and you're gonna select show values of selected field. And very quickly, we get a new sub slicer showing us all of the different categories here within the English product name. Now, if I select one of these other fields here in my parameter, it's going to uh, make that change on that sub slicer there reflective of the field I'm selecting. Let's go ahead here now and from my table, let's go ahead and add in the parameter as well. So we can take a look at that here. And I'm gonna drag and drop this here, rearrange that to make a little bit more sense of it. Let's also in our sum of sales amount, let's add this in here to that bar chart. Now, when we are here, when we are selecting our data, I'm going to um, deselect English product name and we can see here now, very quickly we see those fields reflected on the other visuals as well. We can select class from our parameter then we can select specific fields within each class. 
We can then go back to the top, select the English product name, and see those changes reflected here on these visuals as well. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me in this video. I hope you find this video helpful as you begin uh, creating dynamic slicers using those field parameters with that new update from the November Power BI update. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below so that you can stay up to date with all of us here at Pragmatic Works. If you want more content from Pragmatic Works outside of our YouTube channel on Power BI or any of the other programs within the Power Platform, then head over to our on-demand learning platform that I have linked in the description below, where you can take classes on Power BI, DAX, Power Automate, Azure, and Microsoft Teams, just to name a few. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.